the Shah 6100 UKT cylinder vacuum cleaner is all right, really. In today's video, I want us to try and make it better. Yes, make it better than it currently is. So, let's see what we can budge, hack and do to this brand new Magnus cylinder car. Let's have a look. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? Yes, I have rinsed off everything. I haven't washed it, hence why there's still a few bits and bobs in the corner. But yeah, this all rinsed off really quite nicely indeed. Although it's only been three days I've had it. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have had to do it. I've washed the filters as well. They came up like brand new as well. Close the flap. Pop this in. We should be good to go. Choo choo indeed, because that is all this thing seems to do. So yeah, it's not brilliant. I just do not like it. It's probably normal for a shark, but I am not terribly keen. So I thought that we would attempt ye old bodge. What mighty bodge, you might ask? Well, this is a very expensive prototype consisting of a Bojack meter bag, some Turbo Power 2 hose, and lots of tape. And my rough idea is that this rough, you know, just about sits down in there like so, although it only really likes it one way. And then when you get it just about right, this pushes into roughly like heck of a modding a Hoover Junior 119 really just not quite as good and then that sort of opens up a little bit like that so you have that wedged into there I don't know how well it's wedged in there but it is in there nonetheless and then you can sit this back in let's click it in and then by looking through here, you can see that the bag's about as expanded as it's going to get. By which I mean, not much. But hey, you never know. So far, so good. One of the reasons I washed out the bin was so that we could tell if it didn't work very well. So let's quickly go over this rug. And I should pick up enough fine dust for it to leak through if it's going to. You can't have failed to notice by now, so this thing sounds like a train horn a lot of the time, but it's now sounding like a train horn all of the time, and I can't help but think it's possibly got something to do with all of this. Um, I don't know, yeah, I think it's, um, oh, blimey. That has been black splotch there. That, that literally wasn't there before. What the heck have you been put down on? Nothing. Whoa. That's concerning, but it also, I think, this is making it sound worse. Oh, it, it didn't work anyway, look. There's dirt all inside of there. <laughs> Do not know where that black thing came from, that is worrying. Oh dear. So, we'll pop just this back in. I want to check if that sound has gone. Now the sound should only be there if you've got 
the tube up. So, yeah, A for effort, Z for practicality. Fair enough. So, okay, well, the first improvement didn't work at all. Let's see if we can get on better with the second improvement. This floor head is the biggest disappointment ever. I thought it was just metal on the bottom. I don't know why. I can't actually find any pictures of it anywhere. I can't really remember where I thought that it was. But it was nonetheless. And yeah, it's not very good. So, if we take some... I'm going to clean bit off. If we take some masking tape, obviously this all has to be reversible, non-permanent really. It's the same. Shark have, again, stopped anybody from fitting anything else because there's this bit here, which otherwise would turn this into basically 35 millimetres. And when you have 35 millimetre tools, there's only one place to go. And that is our good friends Mila, who make better floor tools nowadays than they make actual vacuum cleaners. I do believe. And with this floor head fitted, oh, it's just lovely. It glides nicely. It doesn't skip. It covers itself down. Doesn't make it sound like a train horn. Uh, it's just lovely, really. You can flip the brushes down, and it's all right on hard floors as uh, well. But again, the slight flaw with this modification is that it does not park itself in the parking bracket at all. So it does make it really nice to use, but also unusable-ish at the same time, which is a bit of a theme with this vacuum, really. It's, it's a brand new, bespoke design that has never been seen before. And one of the reasons I went for this particular model is because obviously they're using heads that they previously used in other vacuums on this, just with a change of neck, which we've seen before, in order to make it fit. So you, I knew what I was getting with those. This They've had to have made. They went out and went, oh, we need some floor heads. I got this designed. And then they cheaped out, presumably because that is a design that is already available for other cheap floor heads, so they can make some sort of Frankenstein's monster for the cheapest possible price, which has ruined this vacuum. It likes my bug. I'll be honest, it's okay on it. It's quite nice on stuck down flooring, it is very alright on the laminar, but I can't use it upstairs, I just cannot push it, those grip down too tight. I can't clean my kitchen because it just sucks the lino up, unless you open the release valve all the way and kill all the suction. But, it's a shame really, the rod and handle are beautiful, I have heard some initial reports that people find the Flexology wand too short because obviously it only flips like the older Shark Rockets did. Whereas this one is nicely telescopic and it does feel good to use. It is very nice indeed and obviously the tools sit there. The hose is alright, it is a bit short. If I was keeping it, I would probably stick a lot, you know, try to stick, I mean you'd have to strip the ends down to find out, but try and fit a longer hose on it, I reckon that would help. A lot, but of course, you know, you can fit the longest hose you want on it. But when the filters get filthy and random black marks appear that have just not been anything near the vacuum cleaner like that or still is, ah, it's just a bit of a shame. So, well done, Shark. Nice try. I love the design, I think it's a beautiful design. But with this floor head and this filtration. No, we've got it. I just don't want to keep it really. I think it's going to go back and who knows, I might try some other brand new shark machine instead of this one. Oh, I just wanted an all right budget basic cylinder vacuum cleaner. And this has been hampered by the floor tool, something which we've seen a lot in the past, you know, and now it seems we see it again with these 
Sharp vacuum cleaner. So comment down below. I mean, you probably can only comment really if you've got a straight suction floor head in terms of the floor head. Do you like your floor head? It's lovely on the laminate. It's just meh everywhere else. If not, which power head version did you get? And what do you think of it? How clean are your filters? <laughs> Let's have a contest. And until the next time, I and some other vacuum cleaner will see you soon. Bye-bye.